Welcome to my channel. I'm in a chipper mood today because we are going to Tahoe. I'm so excited. I got invited by Heavenly Ski Resort to check out the mountain, stay in the resort, and I'm taking you guys with me. I haven't been on like an influencer trip in a while. I know that sounds kind of cringe, but super grateful this time because I never thought in my life I'd be invited by a ski resort to come and make content. So we literally leave in an hour and I haven't packed anything. <laughs> I just have this giant mess of stuff. So come pack with me. Something about me is before I like to pack, I like to make a list because I don't want to forget anything, especially when it's like a cold location. Like the worst thing is like, oh shoot, I forgot my toothbrush. And like you have to go out in the middle of the night and get your toothbrush. So the list we have. So I need to pack all of this and we have to leave very soon. As I was packing, I wanted to show you guys the brand new snow goggles I got from Red Bull. They sent this to me like a few days ago and I'm just like in shock because like come on, these are really sick. Never in my life also would I think I would get Red Bull goggles in the mail. I am so stoked about with these um they mean so much to me thank you kaylee and gabs if you're watching this i also am bringing this book you guys i don't know if you know this but i actually don't like reading nonfiction for the longest time i only read like atomic habits or like why we are the way we are kind of books you know but i think this year my resolution was to read more books and be more literate <laughs> oh i got this book i just saw it on amazon it's called the midnight what the midnight library and it's about a girl who apparently gets to read a book. Like this book can predict her future kind of thing. I don't know. I kind of like philosophical thrillers. So I'll let you know how this goes. I'm going to be reading this throughout the vlog and like updating you guys because I heard so many good things. It has like 300,000 reviews on Amazon. So. All right. Just finished packing. We have one, two, three bags. This is my ski bag or my snowboard bag. I'm a little concerned because we're flying with Southwest, which I heard great things about my Southwest. Like my dad likes Southwest, but I personally haven't flown on Southwest. Take a shot every time I say Southwest. I'm just a little worried about the baggage situation. I really don't want to be like losing my fucking expensive ass snowboard. So hopefully it's going to be okay. The only reason why we're doing Southwest is because the Delta flights were literally like a thousand dollars. And I'm like, I'm not going to spend that to fly an hour and a half. So... <sighs> Southwest it is. Okay, so we're at the LAX airport. Guys, Southwest, I don't want to drink this, but Southwest has been pretty good so far. They checked in our bags, had no issue with the weight, and we're just waiting for our flight. I really don't want to jinx it. So let's hopefully pray to make it to Tahoe safe. We just got to our resort. It's like 8 p.m. We're gonna check out the room. Oh my god, this is huge. What the fuck? This is not a hotel room. What the fuck? Okay, so I'm gonna do a full tour tomorrow, but this is my first reactions. Okay. We got, oh my gosh, a huge bathroom, TV, huge shower, double, double everything. Wow, this is huge. Oh my God. Two bedrooms, babe. What the fuck? Wow. Okay, this is huge. Wow, this is crazy. Thank you. There's a little welcome basket. Did you see it? There is? Oh my god. <clears throat> oh wow, from Jade and Friends, lol. <laughs> I told them that my videographer's here, but my videographer's my boyfriend. So I am videographing. Yeah. Yes, thank you for <clears throat> Hello Jade, we hope you enjoy your visit at Tahoe Heavily Resort. Let me know if you need anything. Zalanta Resort. We got here assortments of wines are really good i had these before we got snacks we got fancy cheese Ooh, we got charcuterie um and we got truffles wow wow thank you salanta thank you veil resorts i feel so bougie what's going on orange <laughs> guys they have a fucking soda stream in the lobby so you get to pick whatever flavor there's like five flavors and there's still and it's flavor too. All the I like. This is crazy. Do you wanna try it? Okay, try it. Oh, right away. 
guys. So the downstairs lobby has a little coffee machine and I got a cappuccino. It was pretty fancy. This whole place is very nice. So we're gonna try it together. ASMR. Mmm. That's really good. So right now it's 8.15 and the mountain doesn't open till 9 a.m. So I'm thinking before I go ski and snowboard, I could like read because <laughs> I actually made quite a bit of progress. You guys are gonna be like, that's not a lot of progress. But like I read this much on the plane yesterday. <laughs> Wait, that, that looks so small. I read this much on the plane yesterday, which to me is a lot because I'm used to reading a page a day for the past month. Basically, just to like this, summarize this, what's going on, like this girl, she has a really bad life and before she dies, she's like in this weird world where you can read your futures, like different books are different possibilities of what your life could look like. It kind of makes me think about my life and be like, wow, like one choice really can change the trajectory of your whole life. Like I was just relating it to how I picked up surfing, like I took a surf lesson on a random day during COVID because I was just bored. And that surf lesson, if I didn't take that, I would not be here right now at a ski resort. I wouldn't be making snowboard content. And I think about that a lot sometimes. So this book is really, really good so far. I, I really enjoy it. I can't put my stamp of approval yet because also I don't really read that many books. So you should not take book advice from me. Drink my cappuccino. <laughs> I still can't believe I'm here. Like, I'm really thankful. I was just journaling a minute ago and I was like, damn. Thank you guys for watching my videos. If you guys weren't watching them, I would not be here. You know what's actually really funny? So <laughs> this will be interesting because I know a lot of you guys also might be content creators. I got reached out to by Veil vale Resort slash this place like over six months ago, but I didn't see the email. Like I literally did not see the email. I think it was sent to my old email and long story short I was like three months late to replying to the email and I literally was like, hey, like I'm so sorry I did not see this. Are you still down to collaborate? And they said yes. So thanks to their team because I literally was so late and if they weren't so gracious, I would not be here, but we're gonna get dressed to go to the mountain because I am so excited. It's 10 a.m. Uh, we gotta go, we gotta get dressed. I first start off with just sports bra and leggings. Base layer, this is from Lululemon. All right, next we're gonna put the balaclava. I don't even know, is that how you say it, balaclava? <laughs> it's like the ski mask to keep you extra warm. Kinda looks so silly, but I need this or else I get so cold in my head. Next, some butt pads because I don't want to fall my butt and break my tailbone. Next. My snowboarding pants. A lot of you guys on Instagram are wondering where I got these. They are actually, I believe, from Amazon. Uh, ah, fuck. Oh my god, do you ever just kick a bed frame so hard with your toe? God, that was like worse than any snowboarding pain. I look so silly. Do you guys see me right now? Wait, I'm gonna show you this. I look so silly. I don't know if I should do the gray jacket or green jacket today. Maybe gray. And my outer layer ski jacket. This is Arcteryx. You guys, I love Arcteryx lately. Like, that's just what I've been so into. I just think their stuff is such good quality, but also really fucking expensive. So this is the only ski jacket I'll have for the rest of my life. So today, I think it's pretty sunny. So I'm gonna wear, should I wear the Red Bull ones? I just feel like <laughs> they're really sick. I just feel like I'm a little embarrassed to wear them. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to wear them alone on the mountain today. Maybe I'll wear them tomorrow. I don't like I'm not good enough <laughs> To wear fucking Red Bull goggles. So I have these ones that are literally the same uh, It's like a sunny lens, but I don't know like you guys comment right now I know I won't like be able to respond but like which one should I do today? Should I do the Red Bull goggles or the Smith goggles? Comment below We're doing the Smith goggles today. And then we got the helmet on Gotta get my ski boots and we're ready to go Guys, it is snowing. I'm so happy to be here. I've done like six runs so far and I'm just like, I don't even know what time it is. I'm just vibing. Like, just look how beautiful it is. Um, if you guys don't snowboard or ski, like this is called powder. Like this terrain is really soft 
and it makes for really nice skiing because when you fall you don't feel anything because it's just like a bunch of powder so the fact that it's snowing on top of powder is like insane i'm having so much fun i think i'm gonna do three or four more runs and then get lunch because i haven't ate anything yet <laughs> oh my gosh um and i will hopefully get something good to eat i'm back so today was really fun i've skied for like four hours straight and now it's 3 p.m i'm really tired but the day is still young i think we might go hot tubbing there's like a pool area back there which is really nice so that would feel great i just want to give you an update though on my toe you guys rei really came through because my toe does not hurt like i'm not joking when i tell you like last time i snowboarded like two weeks ago four hours or three hours in i could not walk anymore like it was that bad like, basically tony was jamming into its socket like it was receding if that makes sense because like it would bang against the fucking toe wall so now my feet are freaking amazing like i'm feeling so good i really want to think oh yeah because they did this for free i don't know if i should say this but if you ever have ski boots or snowboard boots and you have issues like go to rei because they just help you if you remember for free i feel great i feel phenomenal i had such a fun day all right i am currently getting ready for dinner it's 5 p.m the first couple we talked to in the hot tub they were tired because they ipo'd their company and it was basically like number 20 in the entire nation like ip it like they sold their whole company and it's like public now that's crazy another couple said they own like five different houses at different ski resorts like fuck so yeah sometimes i feel out of place <laughs> but that's okay so vibe i'm doing my makeup uh because we're going to hell's kitchen which i'm actually so excited for you guys ever watch gordon ramsay's hell's kitchen because that was my shit as a kid i just love gordon ramsay i think he's so fucking funny i've never been i've heard really good things about Hell's Kitchen, I don't know. It's Gordon Ramsay, it has to be good. A lot of you guys who watch my videos are girls. Before my audience was like 50-50 men and women, but now I think it's like 70-30 women, men, which is awesome. And I love I love the boys too, I love you guys. But I always feel awkward doing like makeup content because I'm like, oh, like the people that watch me don't give a fuck. But now I have the girlies, so I'm gonna show you guys what I do to get ready. So I actually put these lashes on, they're from Amazon. They were $10 and they look really good. Like, tell me that these don't look good. Oh, kind of looks a little crazy, but. Um, and now I'm doing my eyebrows. I'm again skipping foundation because I don't want to dry out my skin more because it's so fucking dry here. But you know, this place is bougie when there's literally a humidifier in the closet. Like, what the? I saw that this morning. I was like, D this place is bougie. You know what's really funny? I. I realized based on the clothes I was wearing today and like my whole life that I'm really cheap But I don't live a cheap life. and That's the crazy thing Like if you see me on social media, you're like wow, like she's so bougie, but like I'm really I am bougie because I do bougie shit Like I like to travel bougie, but I don't really buy a lot of things like for example this makeup That I'm holding I got it for free <laughs> because my friend Is an influencer and she gets a lot of PR and she's like just take it and I was like, okay or like for example like these lashes, $10. Like, I don't really get my lashes done. I don't really have expensive clothes. Like, this is Zara. This is $2. Like, my jeans are $2 from the thrift store. I mean, the only thing that I really bouged out on is traveling. Like, I do fly business class sometimes. But not in this economy, because I'm not as rich as I was in 2021. <laughs> yeah, that's like the only thing that I'll bouge out on. I feel like a lot of my friends are the same way. Like, my best friend Claire, shout out Claire, is the same way. Like, she doesn't really buy. Actually, True. She was literally bought a Louis Vuitton bag. What I'm trying to say is I don't really like spending money. I actually hate spending money, but I do invest in travel. Like I think travel and experiences are so worth it. Like getting a nice hotel, getting a nice place, eating a good meal, I think is always worth it. That's what we're doing. <laughs> my brows are done. Skin is done. Honestly, my skin's kind of looking pretty good for the dry climate. I'm gonna wear bottom lash mascara underneath my eyes. I'm using this one from Swede Beauty. They sent it to me, so thank you. Guys, I don't know what's going on. I feel so chill. Like, I'm even talking chill. Like, that's, that means I'm really happy. <laughs> like, when I talk really fast, it means I'm, I'm anxious. So, I'm really thankful you guys watch my videos. I really thought this channel was dead, you guys, for the longest time. And, you know, a lot of people comment on my videos, oh my god, your channel's dead. But you know what? We're killing it on shorts, guys. You guys have supported my YouTube shorts for the past three months. We're getting like 10 million views each month um, since December. So thank you so much. Like, I really do appreciate it because I did it there. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna, I don't think anyone cares. I think that did a little something. 
I can't tell. Okay, the last thing I'm doing for my makeup is using this Nude Sticks blush in Sunkissed. Okay, this is the one thing. I don't spend money again, like I said, but this is the one thing I did spend money on. Like, it was $40 for a blush, which is kind of crazy in my opinion, but it's really good because, let me show you. I look like a reindeer, right? Watch, just watch, okay? Just watch. Oh my God, that's a lot. <laughs> Do you see how that just makes me look alive? Like, very glowy and pretty. Actually, I look a little sunburned, but that's the vibe. That is the vibe. Okay, this is a little bit better lighting on the makeup. As you can see, my skin is very bare. I don't have any foundation, so it's really discolored, but from a distance, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna use this for lips. This is just a lip balm from Nivea. My lips are so fucking dry here. I'm gonna use Rare Beauty on top. All right, final makeup is complete. While I'm here, I was thinking, why not give a full hotel room tour? This place is literally bigger than my apartment, so I already showed you guys the kitchen a little bit, but this is fully stocked, and my favorite part is that there's filtered water coming from the fridge. This is a, such a sleigh because in California, our water tastes like sewage. This part is kind of crazy, okay? This is when you know shit is bougie. There's a full-on washer and dryer in here. Oh my gosh. Do you know how big of a luxury this is in California? Like, if you have your in-unit, washer and dryer, you're rich. This is the second bathroom slash Zane's bathroom. I didn't know they're gonna book us a big room, so this is really nice. Hopefully, um, next time I have friends that can come over. This is the living room. The outdoor area is really cool, too. There's a grill, which I think is so funny, and a sitting area, and then that was the jacuzzi we were in earlier. And then this is our bedroom. Pretty nice, just a big TV. And this is my bathroom, I think I showed you guys, but I organize everything. And this is my sink, which I was getting ready at. And yeah, that is a little room tour. Where are we eating today? HK, Hong Kong. It's Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen. Okay, so I got this drink, it's called No From Gordon. And there's a note from Gordon. What is this, this is like a meme. This mushroom is so raw, it said that the princess is in another capsule. Wow, babe, that's really good. Okay, next we got the scallops. Mmm. Not too shabby. Eight out of ten. Alright guys, this is beef wellington. Honestly guys, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It looks pretty rare. This looks very rare. I'm not a vampire, so I don't normally get medium rare because I think it's weird, but you know what? We're going to expand our taste buds and try this. Yeah, like I don't like to see blood. I think that's weird, but we're at a very nice restaurant, so it should be good. I'm gonna try it. Very yummy. Oh my god. I think that's a nine. Good morning! It's day two. We got some coffees and I got mine with an extra shot of espresso. I was like, I really want to wake up today. Today we're making a lot of content. So I was like, I need to have energy, so I'm gonna try it. Mmm. That was a good idea. We are now gonna get ready. I have to think about what I want to make. Oh, here's your cafe. Latte. <laughs> okay, so I did my makeup, I got dressed. It's 9 a.m. and we're gonna head up on the mountain a little earlier just because I have five videos I'm filming and I started out with a get ready with me So please if you're watching this like and comment on my Instagram reel I believe it's a collab post with the ski resort here So it would really mean a lot and help me out because then they can invite us again. So yeah, please do that If not, I'll be sad. This is my outfit. Um, I got ready with I don't know See, I kind of prefer it without the jacket. I like an all-black fit and then my red bull goggles I'm wearing the red bull goggles today because I'm filming. I didn't wear them yesterday because I was too like, I just wanted to ski. Like, sometimes when I wear stuff that's more flashy, yes. I get a bit more uh, anxious, so. Um, my makeup, it was just very similar from yesterday. Just did lashes and a lip tint. What's up, guys? <laughs> I'm here with Cole. We're going snowboarding and skiing. Pretty nice day out. We're doing some tree runs. There's a lot of rocks here. It's a little thin, some spots. The snow up top is great, and you can't beat these views. Okay, it's a lot later. It's 5 p.m. We just had a full ski day and it was really interesting 
Babe, you wanna tell the camera what happened? So someone thought it would be a good idea that I go to the other side of the mountain. Not naming names, told me to go to the other side of the mountain. And the only way to get there is to traverse horizontally, which is not something that you typically do on a snowboard, so I did a lot of walking. Basically, he got of, stuck on the flat part. And, and, then, and then someone who told me to do that said, no, actually, you need to come back to the other side. So then I had to do it back the other way. He basically it took me like two hours. He basically got stuck on a flat part, and you can't go fast. So while Zane was trying to find me, I was hanging out with... <laughs> with Cole, who works on the marketing team here at Vail Resorts, and he's super nice. It was really fun, and we did a lot of tree runs. Oh my god, the tree runs today were so fun. I ended up falling, though, on a rock, and like my board caught the rock, and I fell forward, and my board went... I went tumbling. So I'm ready to eat. Good morning, guys. It's the last day in Tahoe. Makes me so sad. I'm doing some stretches right now because we're gonna pack for the hotel, and get ready to ski. And I need to stretch because I'm so sore from yesterday. I took a few tumbles. I also took a few tumbles gambling because I gambled. Okay, you guys, this is like my first time gambling. So I put in $20 into roulette and I lost it. And then I gambled $5 with Zane playing a board game and I lost it. But I'm having so much fun on this trip and I'm actually so sad to go. However, I was reading the book that I brought, which look how much I've read so far. Oh, um, that's a lot for me. And this book really just got me thinking because the premise of this book, right, is this girl, she goes to this library where she can read a book about the alternate life she could have lived. And this librarian's like, hey, like, which life do you want to live? And she's like, oh, I want the life where I'm successful or the life where I'm married and like, you know, all that stuff. And then it's just so interesting because she's like trying on these lives, like reading these books, but she's still not happy in those alternate perfect lives that she wishes she had. And it's just talking about like one of the statements that in this book is like you can make choices but you can't choose your outcome. That is a mic drop right there because with this trip I was like oh like oh if only I could stay here for like another month or something. But I just know does that necessarily make you happier? It's kind of like when you buy expensive things. I would say like a designer product. So you're like oh like this is gonna make me happy but it only ha makes you happy for like a week and then it wears off. I don't think I spoiled the ending so you guys should definitely check it out. Um, at the end it says. Before time runs out, she must answer the ultimate question. With infinite choices, what is the best way to live? So, they got me thinking, what is the best way to live today? With ultimate choices, today's a new day. And I think the answer is, let's go snowboarding. <laughs> Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode.